Step number 13, post receipt of uh, customer payment. So uh, after we receive the payment from uh, Peachtree Bikes, it needs to be recorded. It needs to go against that particular account that we have received the payment. So, uh, and again, all this transaction is going to take place in, uh, in, uh, in the accounting department, right? So let's do this. We will now go to, we're going to go to accounting. Instead of logistics, now we go to accounting. We go to financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, and we're going to go to incoming payments. So double click on incoming payments. So we get this screen um, for the document date. We are going to put in today's date, right? So just open up the calendar, put in today's date. Um, for the company code, that's going to be US East. So that's uh, US 00 right here. Oh, sorry, that's that's Global Bike Dallas, US 00. So that's the company code. So US uh, 00 for the company code. Um, for the currency, it's going to be dollars, USD. Right, so we're just going to... Now remember, this is an international organization. They've got dealers everywhere. So, uh, uh, you know, you have different currencies, all right? So we are going to go to USD uh, right here, United States dollar, double click that. Uh, for account, it's going to be, so, oh, sorry, we can just cross this out. For the account, we are going to enter one followed by five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's there. That's the account in which it has to be posted. Okay. Uh, for the amount, we are going to input the amount of 20,092.50 because this is the payment that we have received from these three bytes. Okay. Uh, and then we go to the account field right here. And uh, we're going to enter the customer number right here for the account field for each tree buy. Now, my customer number, it's uh, for me. I noted it down earlier. Hopefully, you've done it too. So it's 4002 for me. Okay. Uh, Once I have this, then I am going to, after, so all these fields have been entered. Now I'm going to click on um, process open items, this button right here. So I'm going to click on this process open items. And I'll get this new screen right here. Uh, not assigned field. Okay. Now, uh, the not assigned field, it should show me a zero balance right here. Okay, so amount entered, assigned this much, not assigned, zero. So that means that account is now totally clear. Okay. If uh, it doesn't show a zero balance for you, uh, then follow the instructions on the, uh, on, the, on the manual on page number 36, right? So that's where I am on step number 13, page number 36, okay? Uh, so in that case, if you don't get a zero balance, then you have to double click on the amount, um, uh, this 20,000, uh, uh, you have to double click this and then you have to post the payment. So make sure uh, this should be zero. If not, then follow instructions, okay? Uh, now what we're gonna do is we are going to uh, post this payment. So on the bottom right-hand side, there's this post icon. So click on post and we should get a, a document number should get generated. There we go. So it says document 14 with some zeros and then followed by a three was posted in the company code US00. Okay, now make sure that your ID is visible over here and I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. Okay. 
select this whole thing. I should be able to see the number and everything, copy it. I'm going to paste it again on a slide and upload that slide on Blackboard. Okay. Um, now you can just exit out of it. Click on exit. Uh, it says data will be lost. You want to exit editing. There is no data that's going to be lost because we've already posted all the payments and everything. So click on the yes icon and we get back to the easy access screen. Right, so this is the end of step number 13.